Snowed here about six inches in good old PA, Bucks County. Go out there and hit it with a snowblower, shovel, fun stuff. Say that global warming isn't a thing, but yesterday was 60 degrees, and then it snowed six goddamn inches the next day. I'm not a scientist, but something definitely seems off with that. <laughs> so just going on a little rant here snowing and everybody has their snow blowers out and I feel like yes it is more efficient but I feel like the world is also almost getting a little bit lazier my brother tried starting the snow blower multiple times and it wasn't working he was like don't worry dude I got on a snow blower Five minutes goes by, it's not starting, so I start shoveling. By the time he finally gives up with the snowblower, I'm done the driveway. I love my brother, and I'm not saying he's lazy, but I'm just saying, like, old school days, man, you just went out there and you shoveled. You didn't have this machine that, that helps you. And when he starts shoveling, he's like, man, this sucks. And I just couldn't help but think of Jocko Willink, the Navy SEAL, and he puts this video out where talks about all these bad circumstances and all he says to it is good so my brother was like this sucks I'm like good and my brother wanted to be a Navy SEAL and I figured Navy SEALs would be out naked with their wangs flopping around in the cold stop being soft start being more like a freaking savage for my pre-workout meal baby Justin's almond butter baked oats So for conditioning, just did a Metcon of uh, three rounds. First round's 30 reps, then 20 reps, then 10 reps. You start off with a thousand meter row for time. Then you move into cleans, 65-95, wall balls, 14-20, burpees, push-ups, at mat sit-ups. I finished in 21-53, Tanya was 23-03. It's a really good one just for the lungs and it's consistent push on your cardiovascular system. The key here is to go unbroken on wall balls and as clean as much as possible. Burpees, find a solid pace. Push-ups, they're actually super fatigued, more than I thought I'd be. And for a taller guy, I have mat sit-ups are really hard for me. Shorter people, you're blessed. Boy, let's get it. Nice job. Come on, come on, come on. Spartan in the making. Let's go. Good. Okay, so reset. Now I want you to open that chest up. Okay? Open the chest. Good. Sit your heels more. Go down. That's all right. Okay, so reset. Heels. Weight in the heels more. So Justin, Justin, look how far the bar is off your body. So I want you to do straighten the bar. The bar is a little bit crooked. Straighten the bar, but cut your feet in half with the bar. Now put your hands on the bar, good. And then bring your shins, okay. Now, now, in, now open your chest, your chest isn't open. Good, now stand up. Good, good, good. nice. Down, good job. Come on Spartan, good, drop them up. Pop up, good, one, quick now, let's go, two, two, three, four, get it, five, push, push, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, let's go. What's your favorite part about today? Devils? How much did you do? What was it, 105? 95. 95. Slate it. First time now, dude. Yeah. For 5x5 five five at 95. How old are you? 14. 14. He's going to be a beast. If me and you were to get him a fight, who would win? 
It's up for debate. Yeah? What do you oh, think yeah. you got on me, huh? What do you think you got on me, fool? Well, probably um, the fact that I'm smaller. Yeah? Go around from behind. Oh! oh yeah. Just don't touch my butt, all right? Yeah, no. Then I'll definitely kick you in the head as hard as I can. All right, so overall today was a decent day. Got a lot of shoveling done. I actually helped out one of my neighbors whose husband died two years ago, who's a good friend of mine. And I also shoveled my other neighbor's house who has MS. So good deed was done. I absolutely feel great when I do things for people and expect nothing in return. And it was good to just catch up. Uh, after that, I got a good workout in. A lot of conditioning, and then I trained with Justin, who learned his first deadlift today, and I'm very proud of him, and he killed it. So there'll be more improvements with him along the journey of the lion's den. Uh, right now, I'm drinking my tea, which I do every night, an hour before bed, and that is one tea bag of whatever you want, plus uh, honey, as well as one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. So that kind of just helps chill me out knock me out and then tomorrow will be another day Friday baby let's get it